Yo guys, what is going on? Tenebris here. Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at and reviewing the long-awaited Badland Client 2.0. Now, this client has been in the works for a very long time. I know it's been announced on their Twitter before. Uh, it's, I think, Badland Client 2. If you guys haven't already, you should, guys go, you should go follow that. Um, so yeah, pretty much this is an early access version of it, actually. I'm not exactly sure which version of it you guys are going to be getting. Um, but so far, from what I've seen, the client is absolutely amazing. You guys are going to be incredibly impressed. And I just want to talk, talk about a few things before I get into the meat of this. So this is the new launcher, by the way, first of all. Secondly, yeah, this does come with a client side anti-cheat, which is basically the only client side anti-cheat which is actually going to be, like, in existence, like, in the world for Minecraft. So that's pretty impressive, in my opinion, and I'm really excited. And another thing is, is that they've actually also said that servers such as Hypixel or maybe any other server that wants to implement the client side anti-cheat feature will actually be able to do so. And this is very interesting because... That basically makes, you know, closet cheating kind of irrelevant in Minecraft for now. And another thing to note is that the client side anti-cheat is currently only implemented on Badline. However, as I said previously, servers can probably inquire in the future to get the client side anti-cheat enabled on their server as well. Because, of course, nothing really bypasses this at the moment, which is, again, really important for the community. And we need to start encouraging the use of this. And with the new improved UI and stuff of that sort, we definitely are going to be able to see a lot more people using it, which is gonna be awesome. And the final thing I'd like to say is that I know I said I wasn't gonna upload until March. However, you know, because of this special occasion, I'm going to be uploading. This is the first time I'm be, the only time actually I'm going to be uploading in February. I will be back regularly uploading March 1st. This is kind of like an intermediate video. Anyways, let's get right into this client. All right, so the first thing you're going to do when you first launch up the client is you're going to go to these tabs up here. Now, you can get log into your account right here by logging into your Badland profile. And you, as you can see, account, support, settings, social, log out. Um, I've already logged into my account here, but you, all, of course, need to register for Badland account on the forums in order to use this. And uh, there's going to be these tabs. Now, we're going to really ignore these tabs for now. We're really going to focus on the play tab. You click this. And as you can see right here, uh, play Minecraft anywhere. The Badline client is a casual and competitive Minecraft player's best friend. Pretty cool. As you can see, it comes with uh, Better Frames, which is basically a FPS improving software. Uh, I've actually experienced major FPS boosts with this. I've gotten way more uh, than I usually get with Forge or regular Optifine. I think I was getting somewhere around one and a half to two times more with this than Forge and Optifine. And I was definitely getting a lot more than what I was getting with Cosmic Client uh, when I did try that out on the on um on badline use optifine as you can see there's a slider here you click this and there's no more complicated install for optifine it's much much easier you just click it if you want to use optifine or click it if for some reason you don't want to use optifine anyways you can also select the mc version uh 1.7 or 1.8 you can basically choose whatever you want all right now to launch the client all you got to do is click this button called launch of course and it will probably run a little bit and it will say there's a new jar patch and now it's going to apply a new jar patch i have a development version so of course it's going to be pushing these jar patches patches every once in a while um, with new features etc etc anyway so yeah as i said previously this is probably not the version that is going to be public however this is going to be uh the version i'm going to be showcasing all right, so here we are on the menu. We're actually going to make this big right now. And the first things you're going to notice is that, it, of course, there's Badland Client, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And up here, we have Mod Profiles, which is basically different settings you have for the different modules and stuff, which uh, is pretty awesome in case you have, for example, um, a certain a certain setup that you want. You can just enable the profile or disable the profile. Or there's also these options like New, Presets, Clone, Delete, etc., etc. Um, there's also an Alt Manager up here, which I'm not actually going to click because I don't want to, uh, you know, go through the the process of editing out my accounts but anyway yeah if you do click this there is an alt manager trust me probably uh someone else like such reader mentally is going to show that in their video anyway so the single player multiplayer options quick game click multiplayer right here and as you can see bad line is a pin server and you can see this little thing right here that says back and if you see at the top it says back stands for bad line anti-cheat back monitors your system to make sure you're not cheating some servers offer special rewards for using back Anyway, uh, yeah, so as you can see, I'm playing 1.7, so I can't really access Hypixel, but we are going to log into Badline so I can showcase this client. So we're going to log in, and as you can see, it's an enabling Badline anti-cheat BAC. Now, usually this doesn't take very long. It does sometimes, but most of the time it's, it's pretty short. Uh, I, I, we'll uh, wait until this loads, actually. Um, yeah, okay, so now it's just logging in. Of course, the anti-cheat has to actually turn on. And as I log in, the all of the mods are enabled, so this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, and as you can see, all of a sudden, it has some pretty nifty mods. And as, as you can see, there is um, the Keystrokes mod, FPS, CPS, Ping mod. It just has so many mods. It has lots of mods. 
Um, so we're actually going to be joining Arena, so I can actually showcase a lot of these. And also, hitboxes are on, um, which because F3 is disabled to prevent abusing with F3S and stuff. Uh, the hitboxes are uh, a mod ion. So we're going to go to customize a kit. We're going to customize no debuff, so I can actually show a lot of the features. Okay, now by default, to open the GUI, you either go into the escape menu and press this, or, actually I'm going to press I to open my inventory. Okay, apparently it's glitched. But um, I'm also going to, I think that's Minecraft, by the way, not bad line client. The version I have is not very buggy, but right shift basically is going to open this, which has two options. There's mods, as you can see, all the different mods, and um, there's also the better frames. And better frames basically is able, you basically able to modify some things that are um, uh, uh, improving your FPS. All right, so the next thing you're going to want to know about the client is how to actually move around things on the screen. So for example, if you go to enable GUI editing, you can move around any of the modules to wherever you want. For example, if you wanted sprinting toggle down here, you can move it down there. If you want the CPS mod over here, you can move it over there. If you wanted the coordinates over there, you can also resize certain modules. For example, if you want for some reason your, your coordinates to be that big, you can. Um, you can also make them very small and you can basically infinitely customize exactly where you want your uh, modular mo modules. I always struggle with that word. Anyway, uh, so we have armor status right here. We have minimap, we have FPS. There's so many different mods, honestly. It's pretty crazy. We have the ping mod and there's actually even more There's arrows right here, which is pretty useful for archer kit or any bow base kit. You might even want that in, 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 in Sky Wars. But yeah, down here, all right, so anyways, yeah, you can basically select uh, whatever you want for the main color. The secondary color is pretty much the color of this, the coordinates right here. And also there's an option called apply to others, which pretty much makes all of these, I mean, whatever you select, the same color. So say you want like all of, like basically everything um, to be the exact same color, you can. You can make it all this dark red. We're actually gonna showcase this right now. You can select every single module to be the exact same color. Um, we're actually gonna have to go to the second page and my mouse is bugging out, that's not good. That's not the client, that's just my mouse. So as you can see, let's put on everything. Oh, sorry, I had to click apply. Okay, apply. All right, now everything is red. <laughs> uh, you can also, let's actually go back here. Let's go to, um, yeah, okay, okay, okay. We're, we're, we're gonna ignore that for now. Anyway, background color basically is the background right here. So everything's red right now, but if you want to uncheck the background, just uncheck this. And my mouse is bugging out. It's not its not the client, it's my mouse. But background color right there, you can see that there is uh, no background. You want to check it, you have the background. And it's the same exact option. Vertical or horizontal, you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, fancy font, changes the font to be fancier. Round location will give you uh, the exact if you uncheck it. And if you check it, it will give it the, it will give you the, um, the rounded uh, location or coordinates. All right, next module is the hitboxes, and this is a bit complicated, so I'm gonna actually have to show this. Actually, let's actually move this down here so I can actually showcase the um, hitboxes module. Actually, there's someone right here. So as you can see, the hitbox is, is red. This is kind of annoying because the, um, the coordinates are so big. Let's actually move these down and move them over. And as you can see, the hitbox around the player is red. There's also a lot of different options for hitboxes. Like for example, you can change the main hitbox color to be different from the animal hitbox color. I can't actually show that. There's also the item drop hitbox color, which for example, uh, if I drop, I can't actually drop anything right here. But trust me guys, if you drop an item, it will have the green uh, hitbox color around it as I specified before. We're gonna get back into the GUI. Also monster player hitbox, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can also turn off certain hitboxes and enable other hitboxes, which is pretty cool. For example, if I turn off uh, player hitboxes, you can see that guy's hitbox just disappeared. Projectile hitboxes, which is basically arrows, also has its own separate color color scheme. Um, we can also make it rainbow, which is pretty cool. All right, the next module is the keystrokes module, which you can see on my top right. Now, this is a pretty standard keystrokes mod. It basically shows the keys you pressed, and there's back color, which you can change to whatever you want. There's the back color clicked, which is basically when you click, it's the back color, like the, the way it changes the back color when you click, if that makes sense. Font color, it just changes the color of the font. And then font color clicked, which I usually have on rainbow, is pretty cool. So like as you're clicking, you can see that it, it changes like to rainbow when you click, which is a pretty, pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. You can also turn off the CPS. 
You can turn off show mouse. You can just basically customize this, whatever you want. Also, it's a fancy font option, which is now above. Oh, I, I turned off everything. That's why it was it disappeared. I thought it was above my screen for some reason. Anyway, yeah, so this is pretty useful in my opinion. Now we're gonna go back to the next module, which is the minimap module. Uh, the only option for this right now is the background, which is pretty interesting because it is able to, you're able to basically customize this to whatever you want. Uh, there's also the uh, rainbow feature, which pretty much uh, is what it says. Okay, next module is the potion status, which is pretty similar to the armor status. Uh, we can change it to minimal, which shows this very, very basic um, information with a little symbol, or we can change it to vanilla, which shows the actual name of the effect and the level that you have it on. I'm pretty sure the, the other one also shows the level. I No, I, I don't think it does. Anyway, there's one called minimal and there's one called the normal one. There's also the show arrows, which as you can see on the uh, bottom right, which I've already showcased, basically shows how many arrows you have in your inventory. Right now I have zero. Now you can change the text color to be uh, ripe, uh, bright red, or you can change uh, it to be you know dark red or whatever. You can change the background color to be green. I'm gonna make it green, kind of looks bad, but whatever. Uh, you can customize this, maybe you like this. You can customize this to whatever you want. Um, all right, so let's hop back into the GUI. Uh, show, show CPS is a basic CPS mod. This will basically just show you like how much CPS you're getting at any given time. Um, fancy font is the exact same thing. It's very self-explanatory there. Show direction is the direction HUD that I have right here. And as you can see, it's up here. Settings, compass or simple. Simple will basically show the direction that you're looking. So like Northwest, North, Northeast, East, Southeast, Southwest, West. You know, basically very simple. Shows generally the direction that you're looking. And text color changes the text color. Background color changes the background color. Very, very, very straightforward. Now there's also show FPS, which is basically the exact same thing I just showed. As you can see up here, I'm getting very boosted FPS because of better frames. But yeah, so we also have show ping, which you can change this text color to be whatever you want. The background color to be whatever you want. Uh, foreground color to be whatever you want. This is basically the, 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 um, the color of the bars. Icon is different than text. Text will actually physically display what your ping is. Of course, as I said previously, you can uncheck background color if you don't want the background, as you can do with everything. And we're actually gonna turn off some of these modules so I can kind of highlight some of the new ones that I'm going over. Uh, anyway, so tr show ping off. Toggle snake, pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward. We can actually modify what it's called if you really want to. So for example, I can do uh, vape enabled, vape enabled. Um, and vape enabled. And we're actually gonna change this to icons. No, okay, I have to go on classic. But as you can see, it's al although it's extremely small, you can actually see that it says vape enabled on the top, on the top right. Let's just really quickly, there we go, vape enabled. And now all of a sudden you're an edgy Minecraft user. Um, <laughs> all right, my mouse keeps bugging out, I swear to God, it's so weird. Um, so toggle snake here, you also have the icons option, which changes uh, this to an icon instead of being the text. Inventory snake, you can actually also turn on, but it says, after you notice these options, fly speed and inventory snake may be considered an unfair advantage and may be punished, okay? Uh, there's also fly speed, which you can change the fly speed to, which is just the normal stuff. Um, here, up here, you can actually change the uh, sprint and sneak to either sprint or sneak if you only want to use one of those features. For example, if you want to turn off toggle sneak, you can just only select sprint uh, and stuff of that sort. So yeah, uh, let's go down to the next thing, which is TCP no delay, which is really only used on the 1.7 servers. It's very easy. You can just turn it on, turn it off, turn it off turn it on, whatever you want to do. Enchant Glint will turn off and turn on the Enchant Glint. Scoreboard, you can change to show numbers if you want. If you don't want to show numbers, you don't have to show numbers. Time Changer, turn on. Uh, if you want to change it to night, click on Always Night. And make sure this freeze time is checked. And uh, the Always Midnight or Always Sunset. And you can also change the speed of time if you want to change that. There's also the chat option, which can enable or disable the text shadow in chat. As you can see down there in my bottom left, you can actually see that the text shadow is being enabled and disabled. There's also a back color, which you can basically change the color of your text or your chat, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so there's also uh, the next page, which is saturation HUD, which 
pretty much, as you can see right here, shows a second hunger bar, which I, I, I personally like to have the second hunger bar right over my first hunger bar for it to show the my saturation like this. Um, so I'm able to see it very, very easily. Um, there's not many options for this yet, but I, I'm sure that there's going to be some added in the future. Finally, we have the crosshair mod, which is basically the normal crosshair mod, uh, although it's remade. All right, boys, so hope everyone enjoyed this showcase of the new Badline Client 2.0. Make sure you follow their Twitter for updates, and I will see you all in the next one in about a week and a half. Peace out.